first one would be relax, mommy. Like, you're gonna figure it out. You don't know everything right now. You don't know how you're gonna make it through this. You don't know how the baby's gonna get out into the world. Like, you have so much anxiety, and I think my advice would be just relax. Get comfortable clothes. Because <laughs> it's a very strange time where, you know, you kind of feel like, uh, I don't fit into anything, I don't feel particularly gorgeous. Um, some women do. Um, you're hot, just get comfy clothes. Be gentle with yourself a little bit because it's a very strange time. Hormones are going all over the place. You hate everybody some days and in some days you love everybody and you want yam down the place. And I'm just, you know, just be gentle with yourself. That would be my third piece of advice. My fourth piece of advice, um, I think if you are married or with somebody is to just <laughs> um, try to remember that they mean you well <laughs> because you know sometimes when you're with your partner your husband or, you know you kind of feel like I said again it's that whole thing with your hormones where you think like like Wayne could easily just say to me did you eat today and I'm like what do you mean did I eat today of course I ate today but you know you easily so like sometimes feel like <gasps> You know, um, and I think you just have to be aware that they are going through a change too and they're adjusting as well and this is not just happening to you and I think that we don't give them enough credit, especially if they're showing up and being there for us, that they too are experiencing this and they too are going to experience a life change. So I think it's important to be supportive to your partner too and help them to help you to make this transition. Oh, when you get to the end, you feel like it's never going to end. So when you get to that last month of being pregnant, you literally just want this whole thing to be over. You want to meet your baby. You don't want to carry this weight around anymore. You want to, you think you're gonna sleep again, never gonna happen. Um, <laughs> you just, you have all of these emotions, anxiety, so much, and you just kind of want to see the baby and meet the baby. And my fifth piece of advice that I always tell mothers is enjoy the baby while the baby is inside. While the baby can take a nap when you nap, while the baby can eat when you eat, and not really disrupting your life. Because <laughs> as soon as they come out, I remember wishing I could put them back in. <laughs> My advice for anybody who's in a blended family situation, a lot like mine, um, you have to hold some things dear. And for me, for us all together, respect is a big one. So I have a lot of respect for Regina, who is Gio's mom. I have a lot of respect for the relationship she has with Wayne. I have a lot of respect for the relationship she has with Gio. And then we hold our own space together. I think respect is a really big key factor. I think another important thing is to keep in mind what we're trying to do. And if we put our focus back on our children, then we make much better decisions. Now if we're only if we're making decisions from hurt feelings or hurt ego or you know feelings of um, you know anger towards your partner because XYZ, blah 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 blah, it's not gonna get any better or go anywhere so if you can put your children at the forefront and let them be the focus of why we need to be a unit and a family that kind of settles things down um, I think the other thing is understanding your boundaries so I understand my boundaries as a bonus mom um, and I understand you know where my role starts and ends you know and so I'm not trying to like nuff up myself in certain things with that really, you know, may or may not concern me. But if I'm asked to give my opinion on something, I'm there, you know. And we're very lucky because we've been doing this for years. Those lines are very blurry now. And because we're parenting day to day, like we know what to do. But in the beginning, I understood those boundaries. Um, and it takes a lot of maturity to do that. Because, you know, then you realize, you know, in other words, nobody, this is not about 
the foolishness that people make it about. We are literally trying to raise our children to feel loved, lovable, worthy, valuable, respected, um, taken care of, all of those things. So we have to do that. We have to be that.